everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm trying a full face of Japanese drugstore makeup. So I have a whole bunch of these Japanese cosmetic videos coming up. I've shopped at a 100 yen store for a full face of makeup. I've shopped at Daiso for a full face of makeup. In this little bag here, a huge amount of drugstore makeup that I picked up from a drugstore called Tomots. Now, Tomods is a chain. There's a whole bunch of them around Tokyo. I'm currently staying in Akasaka. The train station is Akasaka Mitsuke. It's on the Tokyo Metro line. The Tomods is literally 100 meters away from my hotel and they're open until 10 p.m. every night. So I visited at 9 p.m., raced around, picked up a full face of makeup and I'm really excited to get started because some of this stuff looks absolutely beautiful. These, I believe, are all Japanese brands. Now, they do sell like Revlon and Maybelline and L'Oreal and various brands in Japanese drugstores as well. So I ignored all those, tried to stick to names that said like Kate Tokyo, for example, or Can Do Japan. So I'm hoping that all of these are Japanese brands and there's no like sneaky Korean brands or European brands or anything in there. But the packaging, I love Japanese makeup. It looks so beautiful. Like, look, look at this. Look, it's a little love heart. Isn't that, ugh. Isn't that just the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Too Faced is gonna sue. So I've got one product for every part of my makeup routine, except for concealer. Couldn't find a concealer because being very, very pale, I do struggle with matching my own skin tone, so I couldn't find a concealer that would match. But aside from that, I think I have basically everything that I need. I'm gonna take you guys into the drugstore so that you can see for yourselves what it looks like. You can see what the shelves are like. You can get that real sort of Japanese drugstore experience because once we come back, I'm gonna put on my full face of makeup. today is getting a full face of drugstore makeup. And you, normally when I do these sort of videos I just buy a whole bunch of different things to test them out but I'm only allowed to buy exactly what I need for a full face. We have some really interesting brands in here. We've got Sofina. This appears to be a Japanese brand. Shishero. This is very Japanese. They're actually, Shishero in Australia is so expensive and it's a drugstore thing right here. <laughs> this brand is Esprit. Can make Tokyo beautiful. Literally like five out of five stars for packaging. Absolutely amazing. This is Kose again, but Visi. And then Kate, Tokyo. Oh, look at this. This is really pretty too. Kazan. Kazan. And this too. Chifure. That's definitely Japanese. Chifure. I guess the easiest way for me to... Oh, what's that? Majolika Majoka. Alice in Wonderland. Wow, that stuff's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Integrate, what's this? Is that Japanese? Oh, eyebrow, look, a whole section for eyebrows. Oh, and look, there's samples too. Maybe I might actually be able to find an eyebrow shade for once. A little bit dark. Uh, uh, that could work. Everything from this brand is so cute. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get, this is called Can Make, and it's all in English, nice and easy, Secret Beauty Base. I mean, should I be showing this if it's a secret? Grab one of those, this is 650 yen. And then also next to it, this Secret Beauty Powder. And this is supposed to be like clear, that's 850 yen. Oh, this is really difficult, I don't like this. The easiest way for me to do this will be think about my face and work systematically. So if I go, okay, the first thing I need I put on my face is primer. So let's try and find a primer. Primer, we need foundation. And I spotted this. This is so cute. Look at this beautiful packaging. It's really solid. This is glass. My only concern is I don't think I'll be able to find a good shade for me. I'll just try and go for whatever the lightest shade is. Shade one. Can't get any lighter than that unless there's a shade zero, but I don't see one. Oh, it's so thick. Okay, ready? Not the lightest shade in Japan. Damn, I was really looking, such cute packaging. I was really looking forward to that. Do you want to a good look? Look, it looks like fake tan, right? Yeah. I wonder if it's gonna be like that with all of them. Yeah, this is shade one here. I feel like this will be exactly the same. <gasps> yep. Oh my god. Oh, no. Damn. Why do I have to be so pale? Okay, we'll try a different brand. This is Esprit. This is their lighter shade, the shade 205. See? Oh, oh I'm, I'm not liking my chances here. <gasps> nope, definitely not. Okay, I have found something. The packaging is amazing, absolutely glorious. Only problem is, 
it's 6,500 yen. But if you look the color, we do this, that's my shade. I haven't found anything else as white as that. So I think Japanese whitening powder is gonna be the closest thing to my foundation. It's not too bad. Okay, what, what brand is this? This is Sofina again. Okay, this is their lightest shade here. Oh, okay. This is Liquid Foundation UV Prima Vista Dia. Finally, we have a foundation. Maybe, <laughs> possibly. Could still be really, really bad. At least my wrist looks actually quite smooth. Yeah, like all of these products are really, really smoothing and kind of like blurring as well, so they look nice. And maybe I will get the Snow Beauty thing to go over the top because that's really, really light and white. So it might lighten everything up. We've got to try and find blush, highlight, and contour next. This blush I'm really interested in. This is really, really cute. I like to go for like an orangey, peachy kind of blush. It's got this little puff on the top of it. And then you just go... I like Pretty that. Pretty bright. And that's very bright. That sort of orangey tone suits me with my red hair. So I'm gonna get this one. Okay, this brand, which is Cezanne, they've got a whole bunch of highlights here. Do you want a white highlighter specifically? Or? I just want like a champagne-y shade, if that's right. possible. If they have champagne, it doesn't have to be blinding. But what champagne. about that one? Yeah, that one. This says 01, champ, oh, oh my God. It literally, it says champagne. It literally, champagne. Be champagne beige. <laughs> that wasn't planned. <laughs> I said I want champagne. Oh, Tiasha. Is it perfect? Oh my god. That's Look. so pretty. Wow. Thank you. Makeup guru me. Becca is quaking. <laughs> hmm, some contour. Okay. Contour. I don't know what that means, but it says highlighto and shading. Highlight and shading. That's what that says. That could be good. Oh yeah, that'll work as a contour for me. Could be a little tiny bit dark, but it's close and it's got like a, a highlight and contour. So they got some instructions here and they show putting the white on like the T-zone and a little bit under the eyes and on the chin. And then they show the contour on the sides. So that could be good, that top one. Plus your is... foundation's a little dark anyway, so it should be Yeah, true. That'll do. And it looks like it comes with a brush as well, so that helps because I don't have any brushes with me. Okay, so we got primer, foundation, not concealer, blush, highlight, contour. Now what? Eyes. Eye primer. <laughs> Tucked away in the tiniest little corner right down here. I asked the lady if they had eye primer. She said this is the only one. So this is Can Make Lasting Multi Eye Base. Perfect. It's exactly what I needed. I just can't believe there's only one. It's so weird. <laughs> Mascara, eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyebrows. Okay. Okay. Didn't you get eyebrows? No, I didn't buy it. I just oh, looked at it. Yeah, right. Color change eyebrow. Look at that. <gasps> no way. Look at that. Look, I'm painting my little arm hairs and they... That looks like that's gonna be really, really good. How lucky is that? Okay. Okay. Eyeshadow. Now, how many eyeshadows do you think I can... I would say do two. Like two sort of quads. Maybe these. Maybe not. Look at these. Ooh. Oh, look at that. <gasps> that's nice. One, two, three. Mm. That's pretty good. What brand is this? Oh, this is this Maj Majolica Majorca. I don't want to commit yet because there's heaps, heaps of eyeshadow quads. So let's just try out a couple of others quickly. Thisy. This looks nice. Got a nice. Whoa. Nah, okay, I think that first one was a bit better than that. What about these ones? Oh, wow, they're pretty. Mm. Oh, gosh, that's so nice. Oh, oh. Tiasha. Good job. Can you just pick everything I pick. Yeah, I think I should just leave it up to you, actually. <gasps> ah, yay! That's really nice. O R one called Crushed Diamond Eyes, and it's by Kate Tokyo. And you know that's definitely a Japanese brand because it's got Tokyo in the name. I think we're going to use Can Make again. You can rely on this brand for everything. They can make it work for you. There's some mats. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. That's going to be good. That one's really nice. That's number three. And it's in stock. Thank goodness. I need to get the eyebrow color. I really liked these pens. Do I go slightly lighter or do I go darker? Surely light brown is good for me, right? Give it a try. And I might get a slightly darker one too that I can, this is like a felt tip, so I can like flick it through my brows. So I've got a combination of brow, brow products. Eyeliner, mascara, false lashes, and lips. lips. Um, I really like lashes that are very, in the corners I like them shorter, and then I like them longer on the edges. It's like a cat's eye. That's a, you know, pretty Japanese style. <laughs> They're way too long. Can you trim them? I, mm, I could trim them. We yeah, only actually, have scissors, do we? We don't have scissors. I need to get some scissors. Do these come with glue? They're actually really, really cool. I like those. 
Okay, Super Eyelash Fixer, premium. Cool, it's pink, done. This is really cool. Morte Mascara, I don't know what brand this is, but look at the packaging, it comes in like a, it almost looks like a face mask, like a big plastic bag kind of thing. This packaging is amazing, it's like really, really solid. So this is number one. What does it look like, actually? I should probably look at the wand first before I decide. Fine by me. Awesome. Look, honestly, this packaging is giving me hope. That's really intense for mascara. You can't even see it in there, so it's like, it's so exclusive, you can't even look at it. Not for mortal eyes. Eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner really terrifies me. I'm absolutely useless at using it. I mean, I'll, I'll give it a go. Actually, no, maybe I should get a... Look, this is Super Fit Gel Liner. I'm hoping that the crown here and the number one is saying that it's excellent. Oh, look, there's a tester. Good. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh, the test is almost all up. <gasps> Very good. Most excellent. So I need some beauty tools too. So, you know, they use these sort of things a lot. There's some little sponges. They're kind of cute. Let's give them a try. Scissors. I wanted scissors. Here's some scissors. I wonder if I can get a brush set. That's really cute, a double-sided brush. This is like, this looks like a blending brush. You don't really need that many, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. 380 yen for a big packet of them. That's good. What else? What else do I need? Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. Lipstick, lipstick. The music's stressing me out. I like the deceptive lipstick. Let's get the deceptive yeah, lipstick. Let's do it. Okay. That's cute. Not quite orangey enough for what I want, though. What about this one? That's nice. This is really creamy formula. Yeah, it looks like it's going on like a dream. Actually, do you think? Mm. I think that's too peachy. Too peachy, yeah. Give me a good one. I love that that's one good. and the second one. Those are my favorite. That one? Mm. Yeah, I think that. I think that one. That's shade 43. Wait, mm -hmm. are you telling me that it doesn't have the deceptive lid? No. I don't get the cool deceptive lid, but I get a pretty color at least. <laughs> Looks like we've got some sort of terrible disease. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I just want to get like a gloss, a gloss for my lips, and then I think that's everything. Yeah, that's cute. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, I hope that's everything. I just need to wipe my hand. They've closed the entire shop. We are the last customer. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this is so expensive. horrified at the checkout because it did come to a total of 26,302 yen which is 270 or so US dollars which is a bit over 300 Australian dollars so I didn't expect it to be that much because it's drugstore so I've got the Daiso video and the 100 yen store makeup video too because that stuff is a lot cheaper we're talking like a dollar per item some of these things went anywhere from $3 per item right up to like 10 or 20 even. So this is a full face. Remember, I got basically one of each product too. So we'll start right at the beginning. I've got a Can Make Tokyo. This is called Secret Beauty Base and it's a base cream. It says a beautiful bare skin at any time. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be colored or if it's going to be white or clear, but this says on the back it's shade one. There weren't actually any other shades there, so I don't know why it says one, but anyway, let's let's see. Oh, okay, so it's colored like foundation. <laughs> okay, I'm probably using way too much. I'm not really sure how much of this that I'm supposed to use. Quite a small container. A little probably does go a long way, but it's kind of tacky. The texture of it is a, a little bit tacky and it doesn't spread very far on the face. So I had to use a little bit more. Okay, feeling nice so far. It doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel sticky anymore, it's dried down. It doesn't really look like it's mattifying, it's kind of giving me a, a little bit of glossiness on my cheek there. So let's see how well this uh, helps my foundation to stay. It's really, really hot outside in Tokyo right now, it's summer. I'm expecting that this is going to melt straight off. So next up is my foundation. This is Prima Vista. Dia Liquid Foundation UV by the brand Sofina. I've got the shade 03 here, which was the lightest shade that they had. As you saw, I did struggle to find a foundation that suited me. This came with a little case that had squishy sponges in it. It's this kind of flat sponge like that. But I did actually pick up some Beauty Blender style sponges. There was a set of three, like this. Now I'm going to 
ask Tiasha to wet these for me because I've kind of crammed myself in the corner with my tripod and I can't get out. So can you soak those up for me? Ooh, they look a tiny little bit bigger than they did. Not a huge amount. I'm gonna give this one a try. It's got a flat edge on it like that. That was probably way too much. Not looking promising. Oh dear. Oh dear. Stop laughing. I look like an old ball, but... to go out today. <laughs> Do you say commit to it? I say commit. You're a fake friend, Yasha. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. It really suits you. <laughs> You're like that friend that lets their friend go around all day with a bit of green stuck in their teeth without saying anything. Mm. I have whiting powder. Yes. So as Tiasha just mentioned, this lovely powder with the beautiful packaging, which is Secret Beauty Powder in the shade 01, now this is white powder, like very, very white powder. Maybe if I put the white powder on the top, it might cancel it out. Not at all. I don't want to commit. If I commit, then I'm gonna have an orange face all day. Let's commit and put it on the rest of my face and just see what I look like. So I feel like it definitely doesn't look as bad on the camera as it looks on my face. In the mirror here, I look like I've had the reverse of a fake tan. You know how usually the fake tan goes on the body and you leave the face? It's, it's like the reverse of that. In terms of texture of this foundation, it was pretty easy to blend out. It didn't dry down too fast. It's probably going to oxidize down a little bit. It looks like it's getting even darker in the mirror here. I think before I set the face with powder or anything, I'm going to use this. Now this is a... Cezanne is the brand and it's called a shading stick. Now this is a really nice colour for me by the looks of it. So I'll try and do a bit of contouring. So we'll go in like this. Oof. Ooh, sideburns. Hugh Jackman style. Okay, so I'll use one of those little sponges to blend it out. Let's try the purple one. See how it goes blending. Now in Japan they do a bit of nose contouring, definitely. I'm not proficient at the contouring of the nose. Let's just have some fun and give it a try. So probably just down the side. I watched a lady contouring her nose on the train the other night. She was standing right by the door. She had a stick like this, but it was a skinnier stick and she's going at it and she's blending it out with her fingers and going at it again and blending it out again and she's using her phone as a mirror. Still looks as big as ever, but uh, anyway, I feel like I did a dumb because I probably shouldn't have used the sponge with the flat side because if I'd kept that clean, I could have put that in the powder and then got like a really nice precise bit of baking going on. But let's make do. So let's uh, try to go in under the eyes and set them. So this powder, it's definitely looking soft. It's really nice and soft and I feel like it's, it's blurring as well. It looks like it's giving my skin a really nice velvety texture but don't know how it's really going for helping me sort of carve out my nose a little bit and all that sort of thing. I can actually look, it does look like it's brightened up my under eyes a bit. Might actually try and go all over the face with it just to save the foundation situation a little bit because it does look like it's brightening. Let's try a brush with this powder. So I got this little brush. This is only meant to be like a cheek brush, but we'll see if it works with this powder. Give it a little swirl. The thing I notice about the drugstores is they do seem to have quite a limited selection when it comes to beauty tools. They didn't have very many brushes at all. They only had about maybe five or ten at most. In the mirror here, my skin actually looks amazing. This secret powder is doing a great job. It's filling in the pores and giving me a really nice velvety finish on my skin. So that's a win. So next up is this blush. Now this is really interesting. This is really classic Japanese. So. It's got this really cool packaging. This is by Orb Couture, and it's got this sort of interesting puff on the top. And when you bash it against your skin, the powder starts to come through. And I think there's even like a little turning mechanism. I think it's as simple as you just have to bop it like this. That worked. That definitely worked. You can see all the powder on the top there. I'm gonna go back with that little cheek brush, this is intended to be a cheek brush, and try and buff that out. Okay, that buffed away really easily. I'm glad that it didn't 
leave a disaster of orange on my face. I like to put a little bit of blush on my nose, but I don't want to bop that on my nose because I'll probably look like Rudolph. Might even just try and do this. Okay, I really like that colour on me. This is like an apricotty, peachy kind of colour. They definitely had more reddy and really, really pinky tones, but I really like this is peachy. So next up is highlight. Now this highlight is again by Cezanne, and this is called a Pearl Glow Highlight. I love the look of this packaging, it's stunning. It does come with a little brush, so I'm gonna give the brush a try. This is the shade 01. Now remember, we're not looking for crazy, blinding, you know, Amrezy or anything like that because this is more of a Japanese style highlight. You know what? That looks awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna go back for more of that. I wanna stock up on that. That's amazing, favorite product so far. So onto the eyes now. I definitely struggled to find an eye base. There was literally only one and that was by Can Make Tokyo again and it's called a Lasting Multi Eye Base. I would like it to dry down a bit before I go to put eye product on it because I feel like the eyeshadow is going to catch because it's quite wet. You know what, maybe while I wait for that to dry I might actually do my brows really quick. I have a three different brow products here because I couldn't make up my mind. So we have a coloured brow gel which is by Can Make. It's called Colour Change Eyebrow. This is the shade 01, so the lightest shade. We also have by Integrate, called Eyebrow Pencil. It's the shade BR741. It's got a spoolie on the end of it, which is great. And I also have this one, which is again by Integrate, and this is Liquid and Powder. Now the powder side kind of scares me. It's this really unusual looking tip that looks like it's got a lot of pigment on the top of it and it's kind of terrifying. So I don't think I'm gonna use that one, but I will use the liquid version to try and give myself some little fake hairs, like very, very thin hairs. Okay, now I'm gonna take the liquid one and I'm gonna try and add in a little bit more detail, flick up some little fake hairs, try and make the tip a little bit sharper at the ends here. And then to top it all off, I'm going to use the coloured brow gel. I hope that this doubles as a gel and keeps it in place and it's not just like a colour that you swipe through. So the first little eyeshadow palette that I'm going to go into, because I did get two, because they only seem to do like quads and duos here, you can't really get palettes like we have, you know, with like 12 different colours. So I got this little quad, now this is by Can Make, it's called Perfect Multi Eyes. This is a matte palette in the shade 3. I'm going to use it with this Rosy Rosa brush. I'm going to try and pack on this light brown shade all over my lid, deepen it up a little bit with that one, and then pop some of this on the end. Okay, I'm going to switch over to this fluffy brush. This is another one by Rosie Rosa. I think that I can possibly use this as a blending brush, a buffing brush. I'll just try and buff out the edges so that they're really smooth and blended up into the brow bone. The colour so far, it's looking okay. I, I can't quite tell if it's the formulation of the eyeshadow or if it's the base that's making it a little bit difficult to apply. Okay, gonna try and deepen it up with the next shade along in the palette. This slightly darker one here. Just gonna put that on and try and deepen it all up a little bit. Now I'm just gonna use this reddish base here to go into the very outer corners of the eye. Okay, now I'm going on top with this. This is Kate Tokyo. This is called Crushed Diamond Eyes. Tiasha picked this one out for me and I love it so much. It's two colours in here, a champagne-y kind of colour and then a orangey red colour. So hopefully that kind of matches in with my blush a little bit. And in classic Japanese style or in simply dialogical style, whichever you want to say, I'm going to use these. These are just little, I don't even know what, squidgies? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the lightest shade first, just cover it all over the place on this, swipe it from the inner corner to about halfway. Oh wow! Oh my goodness! Oh, yay! It's so pretty! I almost feel like I could just use my finger really to do this. I don't really need to use this little thing. Let's let's see. Oh yes! I mean I know Simply stands by those little eyeshadow applicators but why spend money when you have fingers? <laughs> and then 
go in with the darker one and I'll put that on the outside. Okay, so I have that one on my middle finger and I still have the light color on the ring finger. So what I'm gonna do to try and blend them together really nicely, I'm just gonna use the ring finger like this and then go over with that and then just kind of switch between fingers to try and get a really, really nice transition going on in between them. Okay, I actually think that's all it really needs to be. Might just use a little tiny brush and just pop some of the highlight that I got. Maybe I might put some under my brow bone and some in the inner corner. So that double-ended brush has a really, really skinny side, so I'm gonna use the skinny side to try and put some under the brow bone. Okay, I'm gonna do eyeliner now, and this eyeliner, this has number one written on it, like a little flag. So I trust what they say. I trust you, Japan. Now I'm not gonna go for the, the flick, you know, cat's eye eyeliner or anything. Over here they do, I think they might call it like a cat's paw eyeliner, where it just kind of comes down a tiny little bit, but it faces downwards, it doesn't flick up. So I'm useless when it comes to eyeliner, absolutely useless, but we'll give it a try. Next up is a mascara. Now this mascara, the packaging was very interesting to me. Some stores in Japan that sell things that look like this that aren't makeup related. So this is a really, really heavy metal kind of case. This brand is Moat Mascara Natural and it's got FF written on it. I'm not sure if that's actually the brand. Now this one was called Natural. There were many different types. There was natural all the way through to volume, but I figured, okay, look, I want to say that I bought the natural one because they do natural mascara in Japan, but really I bought it because I like the packaging. But in the uh, spirit of doing Japanese style makeup, we'll go with the natural lashes and then we'll put some falsies over the top. Okay, now that the mascara is done, I'm going to try out some false lashes. I specifically wanted these because they look like a cat's eye. Now, I'm going to have to trim them, and I did buy some little tiny little scissors to be able to trim them with, and these had a little cap on them too, which was very, very cute. I thought that was a nice little added touch that they even give you a little cap so you don't stab yourself when you're rustling around in your makeup bag. So I'm going to try and size them up for my eye. My habit lately has been to completely trim basically half of the eyelash off. I just use the outer corners. Let's see what it looks like as a full lash. Okay, definitely too long for me. All right. Very nerve-wracking. Now let's see how it looks. Much better. So I basically like it to be just as long as my eyeliner. I don't take my eyeliner right into the corner. So now I just have to try and trim the other one so that it's the same. Okay, I think that they look really, really nice. So in terms of the glue that I got for them, this is Super Eyelash Fixer Premium. Pink packaging, gold star for me. One more to go. I have an audience too. Tiasha's staring straight at me. Nervous. Yay! I did it! Segoi! Segoi! We're almost at the end! I don't believe it. Here, let's zoom you out. <sighs> okay, so lipstick. I have this by Orbi. This is the shade BE43. This packaging is very cute. It's not exactly what I thought it was in the store, but it's still nice packaging. Nice shiny rose gold packaging. Okay, it's a really, really, really nice texture. It's like slightly creamy. And then to go on top of it is this. This is Cezanne. Packaging reminds me a little bit of Clinique. I think we're done. Let's brush out my hair. That's it guys, that's uh, the full face of drugstore makeup. Don't know if it's $270 worth. I was pretty impressed with the highlight, amazing. Brow products, really nice too. Lipstick so far feels lovely, don't know how it's gonna last. This beautiful secret powder, really really like that too. I don't know if I should take this off because, you know, the foundation doesn't match. I Like compared to my arm, my face doesn't look quite right. So. I don't know, what I might end up doing, I might wipe off the face. Because this Secret Beauty Base 
it actually left my skin looking really really nice and sort of velvety and smooth. I might just use that on the base and not go back in with the foundation. I'll just put the blush and the highlight again, maybe not worry about the contour so much. In this lighting, it actually, it doesn't look too bad. You think, does my face look okay? Yeah, with the hair out. With, yeah, with the hair out, it looks all right. But, hmm, for science, maybe I will. Because I want to test how the foundation wears, how the base does and everything. Anyway, I'll try and give you guys a full day wear test and let you know how it all goes. I have high hopes, but it is hot. Hot, hot, hot outside, so I don't know if this is going to melt off within the first hour or two. You know what? Yes, let's just leave the foundation. I know you guys are going to laugh at me. That's fine. I'm laughing at myself too. So, you know, you're not laughing at me. You're laughing with me. Right? Right? Okay, so let's head out for the day, and then I'll see you guys this evening to give you an update on how all this makeup wore. Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was supposed to film an update uh, last night after wearing my makeup for 12 hours, but Tiasha and I went out to a festival and we were out really, really late. And then when we got back, we bought a bunch of cheap alcohol from 7-Eleven and we just sat on the hotel balcony drinking for a very long time. And then I came in and I lay down on the bed and I was like, just give me five minutes. I'm going to film my outro in five minutes. And I just woke up. I've officially been wearing this makeup for 26 hours. Get a good close look at it. How's it looking? I'm like shook beyond words. You look really? absolutely flawless. I'm so confused. Has the makeup oxidized to be the right shade yet? Yes. Or did it all just wipe off on my pillow? Is there still foundation on my face? Um, I can't tell, but your face still looks like there's no pores. Your neck looks like there's a bit of fake tan on it. You know what? That's the alarm I've been snoozing since 9am. How many- if it's 12 o'clock now and the alarm was set for 9, so that's 3 hours. If it goes off every 10 minutes for 3 hours and it still didn't get me out of bed. Don't drink 7-Eleven alcohol, kids. Um, I lose the mirror. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, right. How's my pillow? Ah, okay, there's a little tiny bit of foundation on the pillow. There and there. But, aside from the foundation, you know what? The foundation in the spots that it's still in looks like... So, it's, it's gone from here. You can see my freckles there. Along there. There's a little bit of foundation there. Oh, there's heaps of foundation on this side, so I must have slept on that side because there's heaps of it there. The blush is still there. Highlight's gone from my cheeks, but I guess because I was lying on my cheeks it makes sense. But look, look at the highlight still under my brow bone. And also my eyes. Damn! That eye primer, holy crap! They're not even creased in the slightest. And the eyelashes. Eyelash glue hasn't come off either. <laughs> and the eyeliner too. Eyeliner is all still there as well, and the eyebrows are still fine too, so I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. It was 30 degrees yesterday, like it was absolutely stinking hot, and I, I know that the foundation was still there when I came up to the hotel in the evening, so it did definitely last the test of time. And the eyes, the eye primer, oh, I'm so impressed, Japanese drugstores, incredible. I'm gonna buy more of that highlight for sure. I'm gonna buy more of that secret powder too. And I'm gonna get some backups of that eye primer too. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye out for all my other Japan videos. I've got a 100 yen store makeup video, a Daiso makeup video, a different drugstore makeup video, and then obviously shopping videos too, and some travel videos coming as well. It's gonna be a very, very busy few months, so subscribe if you're excited. And with that, Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.